Shalom. First and foremost, <clears throat> I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash, the one that's keeping apostles of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabar from the GMS Virginia camp coming at you with another lesson. And I pray that you find edifying to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. The book of Sirach, chapter 12, and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. And this can't be said enough. Nor can it be expressed enough how Jake has a love for his enemy, but a hatred for his brother, which goes to show you that they have totally destroyed you before the apostles and elders came on the scene. Jake didn't really know. I mean, you had some Jakes, you know, that tried to revolt. You had some Jakes, you know, that wanted separatism, you know, and this devil just put an end to that by infiltrating, you know, Jake being on their own because they know that if Jake is on their own, they would, uh, they would prosper to an extent. They also know that Jake is under the curses, you know, so they know these things and yet they've never told Jake what is upon them. And so the enemy has utilized ignorance or the ignorance of Jake to destroy Jake. And it wasn't until the apostles came on the scene that started to wake up the elect by going out there on the highways and byways, teaching, preaching, and warning the people to show Yasharala that the enemy has a hatred for them that has lasted generations. You know, they were created to hate Jake. They were created to be the whipping stick of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They can't help it. They, they can't help what they are. And what they are is, like I said, the whipping stick. And also, the people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's uh, great judgment because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to wipe these people off the face of the earth after they repair the earth and build up our kingdom to come. And after a thousand years, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy them. And the house of Esau should be no more. So even though the apostles, the elders, the bishops and the men on down have been telling you that this devil is just that. He's a devil. You Jakes just don't listen. You 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 Jakes don't see the horns that this man has. You men or you Jakes don't you can't comprehend the level of destruction that he has placed upon you to the point where you're okay with not having a father you're okay with disrespecting your parents you're okay with your daughters out there on the streets being the harlots you're okay with adultery you're okay with eating abom abominable things you're okay with it why because you've allowed this man to continue to destroy you by not listening to the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And as you can see on your screen, Michael Kors, I'm tired of pretending I like blacks. 
You know, essentially he's saying, I'm tired. I'm tired of pretending I hate ninjas. And that's, that's, if that's not a smack in the face to you, Jakes, I don't know what is because that goes to show you that a lot of these wickets, um, a.k.a. Esau a lot of them don't like you. They tolerate you because they got to be around you for a few hours during the day. But when they go home, you know, you're probably the furthest thing from their mind. And if you're not the furthest thing from their mind, they're constantly finding ways to destroy you, you know, and keep you in a subjection. You know, they need you or, or, or should I say they've needed you, you know, for a very long time, you know, to be in your ignorance. And in your ignorance, you become exactly what they created you to be, a bunch of ninjas. So, reading this little snippet here, it reads, these, these people have made a mockery of my product, brand, and life. I can't stomach the thought of my Michael Kors purses being stuffed with synthetic hair, weave, or whatever these people call it, said Michael Kors. So here it is, you're making you, you you're making this devil rich, but he would rather that you don't even buy his product. Because he has he has the thoughts that he has about you. And and he's not lying. You know, it's not like he's lying about what could possibly go into his purses, you know? But what he is also telling you is that he don't like you people to buy his product because obviously it wasn't made for you. His products isn't FUBU. His products aren't designed with you in mind. Neither is this kingdom. This kingdom was never designed with you Jakes in mind to prosper. It was never designed to be fitted on your backs. But you have turned wickedness in, into prosperity. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you for that. You know? And the leaders of the flocks ain't telling you the nature of this man, although they see it every day. You know, your common Jake who's living in the so-called ghetto, you know, he don't know. And for the record, for a very long time, the definition of the word ghetto was a place where the Jews reside. And for some reason, that's been <laughs> removed from modern day dictionaries and online dictionaries but nonetheless it is the place where Yashirala resides you know and your leaders haven't told you anything because your leaders are in cahoots with them you know I'm pretty sure that your leaders have told you well not told you but I'm pretty sure that your leaders have heard the derogatory things that you know these other nations say about them you know behind closed doors I'm sure they heard it. And I'm pretty sure that your leaders have been put in their places by these e other nations. Specifically Esau or Edom. But they're not going to tell you that. Why? Because a lot of them have taken that bag. You know? And it's no... And, and you know, it's nothing new with Yasharala. You know? There always have been wicked jakes among... Yasharala have found it fit to bend the knee to these other nations. You know, they did it in Egypt and they did it during the Maccabees. And I'm about to bring that out. And this is around the time when Alexander the Crete had, had conquered the known world at the time and put the other nations in, into some into subjection 
you know, under his rule. You know, but even in that, you have certain men that that um wanted to go back to how the other nations were living. You know, and this is the book of First Maccabees, chapter one, and verse eleven. And it reads, in those days went out of Israel wicked men. Yeah, your leaders, you know, wicked ninjas, you know, who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round, up, round about us. And they've totally gone against the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh because the Lord has always told us not to make a covenant with these other nations, but they went out wicked men and made a covenant with these other nations. You know, the Canaanites, the Grecians, you know, the Moabites, whoever was around them, you know, and at that time it was Elam and, you know what I'm saying, and the Grecians and other nations that, you know, were, you know, uh, uh, you know, conquered. And so these wicked ninjas joined with these other nations and they caused a lot of other jakes, you know, to go off. Even though they knew how these other nations felt about them. You know? You know, it, it, it's not a... How can I put this? It is not a mystery to know how these nations feel about us. I'm not surprised by it. You know, I, you know I've always had that feeling that you know, these other nations just didn't like us, you know, because I saw the segregation when I was living back home in New York, you know, I saw how the different boroughs had different groups living together amongst themselves, you know, they even got little areas that tell you exactly who's there, you got Spanish Harlem, you got Harlem, you got little Italy, you got Chinatown, you know what I'm saying, so you knew the segregation was there. But it wasn't to the point where these other nations started showing you how much they hated you until something actually went down. Read it on with the book of 1 Maccabees 1 and verse 11. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. And that's just the mindset of a lot of these wicked ninjas who think that Yahweh Shem Yahushai won't be there for them. You know? And and a lot of these jakes are going to get caught up in it then and they're going to get caught up in it now because when these things start happening in the earth in terms of Jacob's trouble going full bore a lot of these jakes are going to want to turn back into these heathen nations because that's all they know and and they knew of a time when they were with these other heathen nations they were somewhat comfortable you see Jake don't like being uncomfortable you know most people like things to be consistent, you know. So when the time of, you know, Jacob's trouble come to pass, a lot of these Jakes are going to want to side with these other heathens. Which is why the scriptures say in the book of Isaiah chapter, chapter 31, woe to them that go down into Egypt for help. You know, because you're going to actually think that the military might, the horses, the chariots, you know, these Humvees and, you know, these tanks is going to be something that's going to deliver you from the chaos that's going in the earth. But what you don't understand is that it was your enemy who actually produced these things to bring you further into subjection. You know, and, and, and these wicked people are just so wicked that they're willing to even treat their lower class citizens that they consider lower class also into subjection. So, you know, so you know, if the enemy don't care about their people, what what makes you think they care about you? You know, and and, and for a while, let me reverse well let me go back to the book of First Maccabees 1 and, and let me read verse 12. So this device pleased them well. Yeah, joining with these other nations pleased the wicked of Yasharala well while it lasted until these other nations didn't need them anymore, which is the time that you're in now, you know? 
This devil don't need you anymore. You know, he's got AI and he's got robots. But here it is, you think that this man loves you when in fact he's constantly telling you every day he don't love you. You know, you can tell that by the fact that, you know, you're separated as you should be. You know, because Yahshua is a holy nation unto Yahweh Shem Yahushua. And there's nothing wrong with being separated. But a lot of you jigs seem to think that that separation is, uh, I don't know what the fuck you jigs think, but nonetheless, it's good to be separated from the wicked. But a lot of you jigs want to go back and join with them. You know? And the scriptures also say, although a hand joined, Although hand joined in hand, the wicked shit is not going to punish. And that's also those heathen nations as well as you jakes. You're going to be destroyed right along with them. <coughs> oh, no. I came down with something. But nonetheless, these people don't like you. They never have. You know, and during the time of Jacob's trouble, a lot of these jakes are going to be destroyed. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 33. Why trimmest, why, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? And that's just what Jake does. He trims his way to seek love, approval, appreciation, acceptance from these other nations. Therefore, thou hast also taught the wicked ones thy ways. And that's exactly what you've done. And that's exactly what you're going to continue to do. During the time of Jacob's trouble, when you think upon yourself to go down to Egypt for help, you know, because these people are about to dangle a carrot in front of your face, and that carrot, you know, is going to get a lot of you people to sell out your loved ones, you know, you know, to sell out, you know, the prophets, you know, to even sell yourself out, you know, to take the MOTB. Starvation is a very powerful tool that this devil understands. And it's not the first time that Yasharallah has been put in a situation of famine and starvation. That's why the scripture says the scriptures are meant for our learning because these things is going to happen again. You know, and it's going to happen by the hands of your enemy. So at some point, you Jakes better wake up. You Jakes better wake up. Because the sword is sharpened, you know, the sword is being sharpened right in front of your eyes. And this is just one man saying that he's tired of pretending that he don't like you. Just wait until these other wicked people start showing their horns. A lot of you, Jake's about to be confounded over the fact that they have never liked you. They have just tolerated you. As, as this man here just stated. You know? Let me see if I got anything else. I ain't got nothing else. So with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kadash, Shalom.